Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be kind of an educational, informative video about the Weight Watchers Smart Points program. And recently I've done some videos on some of my favorite three-point snacks or my three six points or less um, or fewer snacks on Weight Watchers program. And I realized I never really went into the whole program. So if you do not care about Weight Watchers, you can skip ahead. But this video is kind of be going to be about my Weight Watchers um, tracker, my status, and my favorite tips and tricks on losing weight, and a little bit of information about the program in case you're interested in pursuing it. So, first thing is, I do Weight Watchers through an app. I do not go to a class. Um, it is not free, but it is about $20 a month for the app, and the app has everything I need to be successful, like I can look up points, I can calculate my own recipes of uh, points, I can track my weight in my tracker, um, you know, weight, well, I have a little graph. I can um, use a barcode scanner on the app to, like if I'm in the grocery store and I want to know how many points are those crackers, I can scan the box with the barcode scanner, like taking a picture with my cell phone. It'll tell me, okay, 20 crackers are three points, and I can decide, it. do the, I think 20 crackers are worth three points? If not, I put them back on the shelf. But, um, so yeah, I do it through the app. I don't go to the class. I did used to go to the class, and I actually really liked it. But I think that adds like 50 bucks a month to it, and I don't know that I need that. I am still losing weight. I am still successful on the program as is. But I know that if I stopped lose, if I started losing motivation and I needed a little kick to get me to lose again, if I was plateaued, I probably would start going to the classes. But like I said, it does cost more. It's a time commitment. Otherwise, I just carry my phone around with me and I track as I go here and there, and it helps me keep on track for my um, weight loss. Okay, so let's talk about points and what they are. So if you were on Weight Watchers years ago, chances are you were on points or points plus system. Um, they do a survey of like a number of points that you get a day based on your lifestyle, if you're active or sedentary or in between, if you're a nursing mother, uh, nursing woman, if you are pregnant, if you are a man or a woman, and they do all these different things to calculate how many points you get a day. Long story short, I get 30 points a day to eat. So um, I'm going to talk about this as if it's a budget. So I have $30, $31 bills in my hand. Um, I wanna have a bowl of cereal, okay, that's five points or whatever. And so I give them a five dollars and I'm I have my cereal and I have 25 points left and it's 9 a.m. Okay, then I'm gonna have um, a yogurt. Okay, that's three points. I give them three dollars. Okay, now I have 22 points, 22 dollars left of my budget. Okay, at lunch I'm gonna have a turkey sandwich with some chips. That's 10 points. All right, here you go. Um, now I have 12 points left for, and then I have an apple in the middle of the afternoon for nothing. It's free and uh, I have some carrot sticks for free and then at dinner I have a bowl of chili for 10 points and I have two points left and for dessert I have a handful of popcorn or you know a pudding cup or something and now I'm out of points so that's kind of you know you basically it's like you have $31 bills so they used to track um, in the smart points in the points plus or the old Weight Watchers points version they only counted four things fiber carbs protein and fat well now, since they started Smart Points late last year, they now um, count those four plus saturated fat, calories, and sugar. So the points values, or how much things cost on the new program, it went up or it changed in some cases. So now my meat, um, it's actually fewer points. So I can have more turkey for the same amount of points. Yay, that's good. Uh, more chicken than I used to for the same amount of points. I can have three ounces instead of two ounces or whatever. But some things that were higher in sugar or trans fats or the calories perhaps now cost more. So my coffee creamer that used to be three points a day, now six points for one cup. And I still get 30 points, $30 a day, you know what I'm saying? So it made me reevaluate my um, food choices and my habits. And that's kind of what got me started on watching Weight Watchers videos online and YouTube. It's because I realized I needed to change some habits. So I started watching what I eat in a day. Um, on smart points kind of program videos and I found a bunch of great people um, I can link some of those down below if you guys want to know what those are let me know um, but yeah so I started again on Weight Watchers in January this last year um, I got married in November and I had some blood work done around then and they re revealed that my liver enzymes were high um, and we weren't sure what that meant so I went back to the doctor and in January they said let's do eight weeks no pills of any kind like no 
no Tylenol, nothing. We want your liver to be clean. Um, you know, maybe like one cup of coffee a day. Don't go crazy on it. We don't want your liver to have to process it all. And no alcohol for eight weeks. And then we're going to retest your blood work. I'm like, okay, fine. So I did that in March and it had gotten a lot better because I cleaned up my act. And in January, I started Weight Watchers. But then by the end of April, I was actually down, you know, about 20 pounds and since January. And my liver stuff has corrected itself because I started eating really clean and taking care of myself like I should have been all along. My um, fatty liver, the deposits in my liver, have been cleaning up. My ducts and my bile ducts and my liver have been going, doing really well. So kind of a weird thing to talk about. Um, also, all of my blood work numbers since November have improved. I've gotten blood work done three times since then because I've been having some health issues. There's a video coming on that if it hasn't, up, hasn't been posted yet, but... Um, yeah, so I have found that my numbers are now right in the center of the reference range. Like for whatever, if it's like 1 to 100 is normal, I'm like right at 50. Or if 20 to 40 is normal, my number is 30. Like I'm right smack dab in the center of the reference range, right where you should be when you're 29 years old, right? And actually I had to be put on um, a medicine to raise my blood pressure. Raise my blood pressure. Like I don't have high blood pressure anymore. It was never really high, but it was never low, but now I'm eating so well and, you know, being active and stuff. So anyway, long story short, my liver's gotten better and my blood pressure's gotten better and I'm losing weight and I feel great. So hopefully you guys can tell that in me, but yeah, so that is kind of why I'm doing it for health reasons, but also, you know, I want to lose a few pounds before vacation so that if I gain a couple pounds on vacation, I'm never going to be bigger than I am right now. That's my goal. I want to be able to have a baby in the near future and start that journey healthy and so that when I'm pregnant, I'm not like 250 pounds again, like, you know, high blood pressure and uncomfortable and bloated and miserable. There's only so much you can prevent. I mean, you can still be very thin and have an unhealthy pregnancy due to other things you can't control, but I just want to take care of me before I decide to have kids. And so this is kind of my way of doing that. So long story short, I just wanted to give a couple of tips um, for you guys for weight loss um, and tell, tell you a little bit about why I like the program for Weight Watchers. So one thing that I like is that they give you allowance points or weekly points, weekly as some people call them. Um, like for me, I get like 49 points a week, we'll say. Let's say we get 49 points a week, so you still get 30 points a day on your program, but you also get these 49 points that sit over here in this little bank over here that you don't have to use, but you could use them if you want. So you can choose either to blow all 49 in one day. Let's say you're going out with your friends on Friday night getting pizza and wings and beer. You want to use all 49 points, not even think about it, and just eat whatever you want on Friday night. Totally worth it. You can do that on Weight Watchers. That's why I like it. You could also choose to eat seven more points a day, 37, 37, 37, 37, until you've used all 49 extras. Um, that is up to you. I like it because if you have a bad day on some diets, it's like you feel like, well, crap, I might as well just give up. You know, I might as well just throw in the towel. This is it. And people quit. And that's one of the major flaws of them is that it's like so restrictive that or you feel like you can't be social. You can't go out. You can't be exposed to that kind of environment because you're going to just blow it and your diet's going to be over and you're going to get fat, you know? No. Weight Watchers is you can plan ahead and budget for that. You know, you can save your money, save your points, and then on Friday night you can go nuts and it's fine and you're not breaking the rules, you're not non-compliant if you want to call it that, and you're still going to have a good week. The program is formatted so that you can have, instead of 30, you can have 37 points one day, and it won't break you. It won't break the bank, and it won't reverse your, whoop, you know, you won't have like a weight gain that week. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So that's one of the reasons that I like the program. But another thing that I like is that most fruits and vegetables are free on the program. So it's kind of similar to paleo diet in that you can have your fruits and vegetables. Now, I'm not talking about the starchy ones like potatoes or... Um, beans if you want to call them that you know or corn or any of those really starchy ones i'm just talking like an apple or carrot sticks or broccoli and stuff those are free so you can have as much of those as you want and um those are great filler foods but my favorite weight watchers tip besides drinking lots of water which we all know we should be doing anyway is to eat fruits and vegetables with every meal i personally find that with with, with weight watchers i could find myself a little bit hungry occasionally 
but if I eat my fruits and vegetables every day, let's say I have a banana with breakfast, I have an apple in the at mid morning, I have carrot sticks with some green beans with my sandwich at lunch. If I have fruits and vegetables with every single meal and I get those, you know, five servings of fruits and vegetables in every single day, I'm not hungry, I feel fulfilled, and I'm not as tempted to eat the crap at, at night. You know, that's when I find myself wanting to eat crap is like, seven o'clock eight o'clock i've already had dinner we cleaned up the dishes and everything and i sit down on the couch and i'm like hmm and then i go in and start working on the pringles and the oreos and the you know popcorn or whatever we have in the pantry so for me if i eat my fruits and vegetables i am less likely to cheat and another one is to watch youtube videos because i have found a lot of great people to watch on youtube that do videos about Weight Watchers and Smart Points and products that they like to eat that you can buy in the grocery store or recipes that you can make at home um, to keep on track and that are not high points on the program but still give you that like salty cr crunchy flavor or take care of that sweet craving if you have it. So there's some tips that have helped me be successful in the Weight Watchers program. Um, let me know down below what you guys want to know about the program. I want to do a question and answer video in the next couple months because I'm going on a vacation. I'm trying to pre-film as much as I can. Having something like that is something that I can really um, do a little bit ahead of time and then post whenever. So let me know down below what kind of questions you would have for Weight Watchers or um, weight loss in general. If you want to know anything about my weight past or history or anything, let me know that too. And if you have any tips you want to share with everyone, of course, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.